Hello everyone. In the previous video, we have learned about system calls and operating systems, right? Now, in this video, we are going to learn about the different services of the operating system. Operating system has two sets of services, and services of the operating system are nothing but services means the functions of the operating system. The functions are the features that an operating system can provide us are called as services of the operating system. In services of the operating system, we have two set of services. The first one is services useful for the user, and the second one is services useful for the system. So services useful for the user are nothing but the services which are made used by the user, and services that are useful for the system are nothing but among all the services that operating system has. Some of the services will be useful for system. Those are called as services useful for the system. Okay. Now let's see what are the services that are useful for the user. The first one is user interface. What do you mean by user interface? User interface means how you are interacting with the computer you have various mediums to interact with the computer right you can interact through gra graphical user interface or also command line you can give your instructions or you can give your commands through graphical user interface by touching tapping the icons or also by the command line by commands by giving commands by typing line by line so this is user interface user interface is nothing but how you can communicate with the computer that is by gui or command line next one is program execution what do you mean by program execution program execution means loading the program into memory and executing that program first in order to execute a program you have to first load that program into your computer's memory right so program execution involves loading that program into your computer's memory and also executing that program okay the next one is io operations so uh, to your computer you will be having many input and output devices connected so all those devices should be connected to your com computer both physically and logically also so operating system provides one of the services called io operations to manage all those input and output devices that are connected to your computer and the operations that input and op output devices will do on your computer okay the next one is file system manipulation what do you mean by the word manipulation manipulation is nothing but changing right so file system manipulation is nothing but all the changes or all the operations or functions that you do related to file are called as file system manipulations under this you will be doing creating opening reading writing all those file operations will be done under this file system manipulation service okay the next one is communication communication means interacting with someone right now in operating system services communication does not only mean interacting with someone in other computer but you can also you have to also interact with your own computer to do some work right so interacting with your own computer or interacting with others or sharing memory with others all those properties will come under this communication okay communication is simply nothing but interaction got it the next one is error detection so you will be having your programs in your computer so the programs may have some errors and you syntactical errors or logical errors whatever it may be so operating system will be able to detect that errors if the operating system will not detect the errors and you blindly execute the program then you will be getting mistake so operating system will detect the error and it will also correct the error got it and these are the services that are useful for the user we have six services that are useful for the user user interface program execution io operations file system manipulation communication and also error detection okay now let's see what are the services that are useful for the system so coming to the services that are useful for the system we have three services that are useful for system and these three services are mainly needed in order to function the system efficiently so they are needed for efficient working of the system so all these three services are required to make our system more efficient so what are those three services first one is resource allocation accounting protection and security what is resource allocation resources like cpu or memory 
or io devices you'll be having many resources and you'll also have many processes right so each process wants some resource according to its requirement so resources should be allocated in such a way that no process should wait for longer time the memory so that resource allocation efficient resource allocation will be done by the operating system only got it the next one is accounting accounting is nothing but calculation or having a data about how much resources or how much data a particular user is using if you have some user user 1 then amount of data that user is using amount of data and number of resources and how much resources he is using all that data will be maintained by the operating system and that service is called as accounting accounting is nothing but maintaining data about the resources about the data that the process or the user is consuming from your computer next one is protection and security obviously your system needs to be protected and also your data should be secured right so protection is needed to maintain or to have a clarity that who can access your resources who can access your data uh, protection and security both it will this feature protection and security will not allow any unauthorized access to access to your computer or your data got it so protection and security is an important feature for your system in order to avoid someone unauthorized to access your data so these three are the services that are useful for the system these three services are to be given by your operating system in order to make your system function very efficiently got it this is the topic of services of operating system thank you